Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, it is super late at night. I took off all my makeup and I'm about to put it all right back on just for you guys. So uh, before I show you what we've got today, be sure that if you are already subscribed to my channel, you go ahead and hit that button and hit that bell. And if you decide that you enjoy this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up so we can get me a little higher up in the rankings here so more people can see this content. So today I'm going to go ahead and go over the limited edition Boxy Charm box. I was so excited to get this in the mail. I barely managed to snag one up. So excited. So we have everything in here. Spoiler alert. Everything we need in here to do a whole face except for foundation, eyeshadow primer, and contour. And I think that's all we're missing. So I'm going to go in item by item, do a full face, and show you how I feel about these products. And this is a first impressions because I haven't tried out anything. I wanted to save it for the video. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take the it Advanced Vitamin C Cream by Ofra. Now this product looks deceptively inexpensive, but it apparently retails for $50, and yes, this is supposed to be a full size. So I really feel like it should be gold coming out of here, but I know that it will not be. But we're gonna start by putting this all over the face, and it just pops open, and I guess you just squirt a little bit out. So it is white, and I'm just gonna dab this on my face and rub it in. I'm pretty sure you were supposed to use this like before your primer to moisturize your face. It does feel good though, and it has kind of a citrusy smell. It smells like something in particular, and I'll probably remember in a few minutes and go ahead and tell y'all once I remember what it smells like. <clears throat> so I've got that on. My face feels pretty nice. Y'all, I've got to get this hair out of my way. I probably have to put on a headband in a second. Because, by the way, if y'all have never noticed, I got all this hair around here, and I'm thinking about doing a hair care video for y'all. Let me know how you feel about that. <clears throat> so the next thing we have in here is this First Light Priming Filter by Becca. This is a travel size, so it only retails for $18. But I think the full size retails for around $38 or $36, somewhere around there. But they gave us a travel size, and it's not a whole lot, but that's all right, because usually with these products the travel size goes a long way and honestly half the time when I'm buying a product myself I buy the travel size just so it's easier to take with me because I feel like the full sizes especially with products that have like glass bottles and your girl's clumsy I feel like I'm gonna get it broken or get it everywhere Ooh, and this primer is purple I guess that's how it uh how it filters your face I don't really know never used a primer that wasn't clear or kind of white so this should be fun okay so it feels nice doesn't have much of a smell but it feels nice so we're just gonna see how everything applies on top of it and I'm gonna hop off here real quick and do my foundation. So one second. Okay guys, so I'm back and I forgot that I also didn't have a concealer so I had to put some of that on too. And I went ahead and bronzed my face up just a little bit. So we are gonna hop in here and grab two items out. First of all, we're gonna go ahead and do our eyes. And what we have in here is a, wait for it, Sigma. E45. It is a small tapered blending brush. I cannot use this for my whole lid, but I can use it for most of it. And this brush retails for $16 for a brush, which I would never actually pay. The Sigma brushes are supposed to be the bomb, so let's hope so. <clears throat> now we need something to use that brush with. 
So we are going to grab the Tarte Miracles of the Amazon palette. This is the box. And this palette retails for $38. This was a variant item. So was the brush. Uh, there was a different, I think like a cooler toned palette maybe. Uh, but it was another Tarte palette, almost identical. <clears throat> and as we all know, Tarte is the best in the world at packaging. So this beauty is gorgeous. And then you open it up and you get six eyeshadows and a blush and this is amazonian clay and we all know we love this blush so before we do the eyes we're just going to go ahead and pop some of this blush on here the sensational amazonian clay blush so i'm just going to grab this on a luxie blush brush and just put a little bit on the apples of my cheekies and i already know that i love tarte blushes and eyeshadows and this is really good, pretty subtle, nothing too crazy, which is always good because you don't want anything too crazy on the cheeks. And I think I might have, yeah, I accidentally went too crazy, but that's okay. We'll just blend it out a little bit. And this brush, I used it for my foundation. It's a Vanity Planet Oval Brush been using this every day. I love oval brushes for foundation, just if y'all didn't know. Okay, so now we are going to take a fluffy uh, M441 from Morphe and just go into this matte shade right here. And we're going to go ahead and put that all over the lid to set the MAC paint pot that yes, I cheated and I put on while I was off camera judge my life I cannot live without my MAC paint pot and I don't trust any eyeshadow without a little bit of priming so we're just gonna put that on there and that's done I'm gonna zoom y'all in okay so we are gonna take care of these eyes and we are gonna take the small blending brush just to see what it can do and we are gonna dip into the light purple and then the dark purple and go ahead and put that in the crease this light purple may not show up because it is a very light color but we're just going to use that to build up before we go ahead and put that dark in Okay, so that is going to be my crease and this brush is definitely very good, but I would recommend it more for like your outer corner as opposed to your whole crease because that took a little longer than I'm used to, but not bad. So now I'm just going to take this shimmer shade right here. It's real light. I'm not trying to do anything too crazy. And I'm just going to put that on my lid. Okay. So this is going to be the eye look and we are going to give me just a second because I forgot to put on my eyebrows. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Okay, so that's a little better. I know they're crazy y'all. I'm still not good at eyebrows. If someone wants to come teach me like personally, I would be so down because eyebrows are totally my weak point. But the next thing we are going to go ahead and get into is this full spectrum eyeliner by Makeup Geek. I got it in the color Obsidian, and this is a $9 pencil. And if you can't guess, Obsidian means it is a black eyeliner pencil. Some people were upset because they wanted the color colors. Whoever wants to can send me as many black eyeliners as they want because I go through these things like nobody's business because all I ever wear is black eyeliner. And if you are new to my channel, I almost dropped that, you will know that we test out our black eyeliners in the waterline because that is the hardest thing to do correctly. Okay, so I'm pretty impressed just to give you a little swatch to see how it looks on the skin. Very creamy, very nice. Looks like it'll be pretty easy to take care of, and it is very nicely in my waterline. So, that is that product. 
And then we have one more eye product, and that is going to be this something in here got messy y'all i don't know what's all over my stuff okay it is the big look mascara by pure um this retails for 21 dollars, and i will show you what the brush looks like oh if it'll come out geez little brush this is the brush and it looks like it'll be pretty good. So we're just gonna pop some on. I'm not gonna do false lashes today because let's be real, I'm about to go to sleep anyways. So let's see how this works. Okay, so I'm gonna be real honest here. Here's the thing with mascara. It either gets really overhyped or really underhyped. And uh, everybody I've heard talk about this was dead convinced they either already hate it or they were going to hate it. I don't hate it. Not sure that it'll be like my new favorite, but it's definitely a contender. This is really nice. Um, with one coat, didn't dip back in or anything. This was the first eye, this was the second. It looks pretty good, like I'm not gonna lie. Um, definitely did something for my lashes, and I'm sure if I were to put a whole bunch of coats on, it'd probably get really good. So, we are going to do this one next. This is a Bare Minerals Gin Nude Buttercream Lip Gloss. This retails for $18. And I got the color Popular, which was the color that Boxy actually tested out when they announced we were getting this gloss. It is a really pretty pink. Not pink. What am I doing? It's a pretty peach color. It's light. <clears throat> So I'm going to go ahead and pop this on. Nothing underneath it. I'm giving it a full-fledged try. This is the doe foot applicator right here. And this looks like it's going to be super pretty. Okay, so not mad at this either. Would I pay $18 for it on my own? Probably not. But it is pretty, very glossy. Got a little bit of a tint to it, not much. But a little bit if y'all know me you know i'm not a glossy person i really prefer like a good liquid lip over a gloss any day but this is nice and i can see it being pretty good on a natural day or over like like a nude uh matte liquid lip maybe i don't know we're gonna try it out some more but i like it so if you can't guess, because if you know anything about this box, you know what the big ticket item was, and I have saved it for last, coming in at a whopping $42 and a very raved about product, we have got the Cover FX Illuminating Drops. I got them in Blossom, which everybody was really upset and didn't want Blossom. I don't really know the difference, so I don't really care too much, but I got Blossom. And this is what the bottle looks like. I know my light is like so distracting, but it happens. So it says shake it. Okay, so the bottle has been shaken and now we just take it out and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how illuminating this looks. And we're gonna squeeze some um, out just so you can see kind of how the product works. So I'm just gonna take like three drops on each cheek maybe. I don't really know if I'm gonna take that much. I may just lay it on my cheek. Let me see. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so if you can't tell, <laughs> I've never used anything like this before, but I'm intrigued. Oh, 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 that just glopped out on my face. Okay, so I have to learn how to use these, but I watched Laura Lee use them and I thought I was a child because I was going to use my finger and she used her finger. So I guess what I'm using, my finger. Because I don't really know of a brush that would be appropriate for this. And I got way too much over here, friends. Whew. But, uh, that is definitely illuminating. See if we can take some of this and scoot it around, maybe. I don't know. Mm. 
<clears throat> okay, so there's way too much over here, but even with way too much on my cheek, it's blended in pretty nicely. We're gonna try over here where I didn't screw up as bad. Well, so about that product, that is a uh, very shiny. I like it. I do like, as soon as my light hits it, it's just like, whoof, blind you. That's always an up for me. I'm a huge fan of all things blinding. And since I'm done with my whole face, we're gonna go ahead and zoom y'all out. So we can kind of see how this looks finished up and not all crazy close up. But uh, yeah, these are super blinding. I don't know if they're $42 blinding. But they're blinding. That that works for me. So uh, that is the last product in here. It was eight products all together. Um, the box is $45. There should be a restock. Now I'm not promising anything, but I heard there would be. Um, and I mean, I think this added up to like $212 a product, which is a lot more than what you pay. Now that being said, I'm not telling you to rush out and buy the box if they restock it. If you don't have much of a makeup collection, sorry, I'm distracted. I keep looking at myself. Um, <laughs> if you don't have much of a makeup collection, this is a great place to start because I literally only needed foundation, concealer, bronzer, eyeshadow primer and like a couple brushes but like you could use this box and four more products if you're not a bronzer kind of person three more products if you're not picky about eyeshadow primer all you need beside this box to do a full face is foundation and concealer so like you can buy a full face of pretty high-end makeup that personally I think looks wonderful for $45 and that's really not bad when you think that had you done this without the box you're gonna pay 212 and that's a lot of money so I'm gonna say that I really do enjoy this box do I think they could have done better you can always do better there's always room for improvement but this is a really good value these are really nice products Honestly, I have wanted to get my hands on these for like probably since I started with makeup about a year, year and a half ago or whenever they came. I really don't know. But I've, ever since I saw these, like they were so expensive and supposed to be so cool that like I wanted them, but I couldn't justify, justify um, $42 for half an ounce of product. Half when I could pay $40 for a whole highlight palette. So, you know, ups and downs. But this pays for everything that you spent. I mean, it's $3 less than what you spend for the box. So definitely a good value. Um, if you don't already have BoxyCharm, get it. Go watch my monthly videos. These boxes are always incredible. This one just happens to have a whole lot more stuff in it. And I really like it. So that is going to be today's video. Uh, let me know if you got your hands on the box, the limited edition. And also let me know what variants you got. Because I know there was like different drops and different eyeliners and different lip glosses. And there was a different brush, I think. I don't know. I don't know what all was out there. I just know there was halo drops and cosmic gloss and some different color eyeliner. And I'm really curious to see what they all looked like. Because I feel like I got the pretty basic variation which is fine with me i work in office natural makeup is my daily so i'm cool with that but uh yeah let me know what y'all got link your videos below feel free or don't link them but you know tell me it's on your channel and i'll come check it out because i love to check out other creators i think that is incredible but that is going to be it for today uh this should be going up on thursday so saturday I have got an affordable makeup haul, so I just feel like this whole week I've been helping y'all save money, and uh, yeah, that's my favorite thing to do. Uh, shameless 
plug that Crate Phones video that I posted. I saw it got quite a few <clears throat> views. Um, the second mailer is available right now. You can pre-order. It'll be shipped out around the 15th, and you should have it by Christmas-ish. No promises. Y'all know how shipping gets. No, I don't get commission for that. I don't get anything. The subscription's already free. I just really like it, and I really like to tell y'all about it, and I love the lady who runs the company. She's adorable. So that is my shameless plug for today. <laughs> that is it for today's video. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave me some comments down there. I want to get to know y'all. I want, I know I have some subscribers building up now, and I know I'm getting some views, but I want to get to know y'all like as my audience. And I think once we hit a thousand, after I do that wonderful giveaway that everybody should be waiting for and helping people come over here. So maybe they can win some makeup too. I want to come up with a name for everybody. Like Laura Lee has her Laura Lee's and everybody has their thing and I want a thing. So get me to where I can have a thing. That would be amazing. But yeah, that is it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys on Saturday. Bye.